over for this heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Frankie Signs. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 13 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Frankie Sai. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. That's going to follow this one. Well, perhaps a side of things to come. 
come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, straight right. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Good is his takedown defense. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big ball for Royce Land. Now he gets back to range. Double leg. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way, or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching for the up kick, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round here. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Very nice leg kick there by Frankie Sides. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Very tricky when he throws that body. Beautiful combination there. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. He gets caught with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Left hand punch from the clinch. They continue to exchange. Just misses with the right. Looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no free piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. 
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at the whip action that comes from the of that kick. He lands flush with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice strike. Boy, Thai club. And they set in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. And that's the end of round number two. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked right, about right. his powerful kicks, right. how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by the count and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Frankie Sun. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, <laughs> But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title.